Boosters igniting, the engines firing. Ramping up to flight speed. And liftoff. Liftoff of Tim Copra, Yuri Malenchenko, and Timothy Peak on their way to the International Space Station. Tim Peak is officially in space. The Zoya's space capsule carrying the British astronaut launched at 11.03 GMT from the launch pad in Baikonur, Kazakhstan. Peak, who is employed by the European Space Agency, was joined by fellow astronauts Yuri Malenchenko from Russia and Tim Kopra from the US. The former army pilot is making history as the first official UK astronaut as he makes his landmark flight to the International Space Station. Peak will spend seven months in space, where he will conduct a programme of scientific experiments and participate in educational activities designed to attract young people into science. Zero gravity was reached by the Soyuz spacecraft after nine minutes of travel. It is scheduled to be docking at the ISS at 1724 GMT this evening. Earlier, Peak said goodbye to his family and friends, including his wife Rebecca and two sons, Thomas Six and Oliver Four. He spoke um, earlier this week about what he was most looking forward to upon family. arriving in um, space. It really has to be the view of planet Earth, and as much as I've spoken to flown astronauts and as much advice as they have given me, I don't think anything can truly prepare you for that moment, and um, that will occur in the Soyuz spacecraft once we get injected into orbit, and I'll be able to uh, look out the, the right window and see that wonderful view of planet Earth. Peak has trained for six years to get to this point and will be the first Briton to join the crew of the International Space Station.